Oh, so it's going to be that kind of a play. Hmm? Θα προτιμούσα ακόμη να αποτύχει με τιμή από το κέρδιση με εξαπάτηση. There's a joke here somewhere. No joke, only you. Well, there's a comeback. Oh yes, I have a whole book on them actually. Ah, Shakespeare is it? Should have known. In some form. That is to say, more or less, but not quite. It's an equivocation actually. But believe me not, yet I lie not. I confess to nothing, not deny nothing. I answer to him. Right, and you are? Είμαι θεατρικός συγγραφέας. What's he saying? It is all Greek to me. There it is. What? That joke I was talking about earlier. If you're all quite finished, I'd like to begin. And what is that? The draft of a book for us for your concerns. That makes me concerned. Uh, the theatre, aren't there enough books on that already? The old way says, do what I do, know what I know. The new way says, if you're useless, then go. The life of Galileo? Yes. <laughs> so, they got a Bertolt Brecht, is it? Three playwrights in my bar. I'll not have it. No, you won't. This first act is about me. I have a placard of everything. There is Blipkin brewing it. I know what you're thinking. How can I cover such a vast subject in just one little book? Why did I feel it was necessary to? Perhaps if I told you how, in fact, this book came into being, you will understand. It all started in high school. I was top of my class in both music and dance. My acting, however, left much to be desired, but that's okay. I thought, well, I can get by just fine on singing and dancing alone. I had no desire to be in anything that really required actual acting. Dumb. That was until, yes, my theatre class and I went on a school trip to Berlin. And when we got there, we were very jet-lagged, but alas, no sooner had we checked in at the hotel than we were trekking across the city to go see a play by the Berliner Ensemble. <coughs> <coughs> the Berliner Ensemble! Trying that crap tonight! 
What can you do? Do you? To this day, I don't know how that play ends, but uh, I uh, somehow was inspired to take theatre for the next two years. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. No, nah, it doesn't really, actually. It's a big plot hole. Thanks for your support. Anytime! Great. Well, if you've taken high school drama, or literature, or even just uh, English for that matter, well, first of all, I'm sorry, but I'm sure you'll understand. It's not so much what you do, but how you justify it. Case in point. Attention! <laughs> gangster voice and, well, I only have one line, but this line, whenever I say it, it comes out southern. I have a tip for you, friend. Yeah? Why don't you come up with some kind of backstory that justifies your character's accent? Well, there's nothing in the text to back uh, me do up. Do you really think our teacher has even read the text completely? Good luck. Ah, oh, there's my gangster. How's your accent coming along? Yeah. Come on, you only have one line. Go ahead. Jim Crockett, your warehouse is on fire! How was that? Southern. Yes, because my character grew up in Texas. I see. Yes, he came to the Windy City to seek his fortune, and now he's a gangster. Well, it seems to me you've thought a lot about this. Good job! I can't believe that worked. I feel like Ferris Bueller right now. Worst performance of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. I'm going to be an actor. Hey, guess what? What? I'm going to be an actor. So my book is working already. Your what? It's where I'm writing down everything I learn about serious theatre. Cool. I know that. I have a book like that, actually. It's written by a professional. A la de da Soon enough, I'll be a professional and you'll be carrying around my book with you. Well, good luck to you. I'm going to go rehearse now. You know, because we're at rehearsals. Right, what scene are they up to? The warehouse fire oh, one. Oh, go, go. I don't know what character you're playing, but I'm playing the actor. I'm sorry, you're playing the actor. Have you not read the script? Well, I mean, I've read my bit. But you have to read the whole thing. The actor always has to know more than the character. Or in my case, the actor has to know more than the actor. Bye now. I'm going to go practice my gait. I'm being inspired by a flamingo. Thus do I ever make my fool my flamingo? I'll start again. Now is the summer 
of our discontent, or mine at least. It's very hot in here, or it will not warm. Stage lights, I think, are the main thing, but lights or no lights, I hate the theater. It may come as a shock to some of you, but you're never too far from a theater hater such as myself. You may be sitting next to one right now who's been dragged along to this sorry place. I want all those people to know now, you are not alone. You see, the theater considers me a villain, and I cannot deny it. I'll destroy this place in sooner time, or fight my way out with bloody axe. Not a, not a real axe, I'm not insane. I'm not a murderer, I'm not going to kill anybody. Or am I? I doubt things will get out of hand, but who knows? You know what, I, I really don't know. I haven't finished reading the script yet. So, I need to read the whole play so that I know more than my character does. Very well. I guess get reading. So I know you said you don't want me around anymore, but this is an awfully boring way to read a book. It's a play. Well, you're just going to sit here and read it. That's not exactly giving the audience their money's worth. You know, if this were a film, it'd be like a montage or something. And if this were a musical, start. it'd be a little more interesting. talking about me and say me I mean the character that I'm gonna play what is it they say oh ain't that interesting ain't that something new but I can't tell my character so what can I do keep it to myself yes I think so I guess I know something that I don't know sorry to interrupt your musical number but you really should learn to refer to your character in the first person it will make you connect more yeah I'd just like to say that I have nothing to do with this musical number I'm a serious actor sure What's that written on the side of page four? My poor character doesn't know what's in store, but my character is me, so how does that flow? I guess I know something that I don't know. I know something that I don't know. Would I really like to have a clue though? My lips are sealed tight as they can be. I'm not telling no one, especially me. Wait! Hey! No! Stop everything! How did this happen? This cannot... Serious theatre! I am going to leave. Don't follow me. There must be some solution to this madness. Look on page 20. What do you know about this? There's a... A, a song! But this is a play, not a musical! Well, some plays can have songs. Wait, so are we still at a play? I don't exactly think this counts as a musical yet. Well, you better not sing anymore. Or it may as well be. Jim Crockett, your warehouse is on fire! Genesis. Well done, I really believed in your backstory. Thank you. I was thinking of. You go? Alright, let's see. Some of your boys are getting too big for their boots. Uh, their boots. Uh, their boots! Shit. Next up, the actor scene. I'm so ready for this. So I think I have a typo in my script? No! Well, you see, it says, um, Shakespeare. That can't be right, it's meant to be Shakespeare. No? Yes, but Arturo Uwe doesn't know how to pronounce Shakespeare, you see. If he doesn't know how to pronounce that, then how does he go around introducing himself? Uh, anyway, how does the speech you teach me in this scene go again? Uh, uh, friends, 
Roman's countryman. Lend me your ears! Whoa! Yeah, I've got your attention now, don't I? You need to act this scene as though you've got a huge, loud crowd of Romans who just need to listen up. Otherwise it's eggy. Well, go on, shout to your Romans. Imagine them. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, do I have to? No! We will give you Romans liberty, equality, tyranny is dead! Liberty, equality, tyranny is dead! Liberty, equality, tyranny is dead! She was sinning when she fell asleep in that theatre in Berlin. Ha! <laughs> I have fallen asleep and snored. I hear some of these players quietly admit to one another that they have once or twice eaten in a theatre where food was banned. Where they hath eaten, I hath crunched! I have many a time deliberately forgot to unwrap my hard candy before a show, and will I ever remember to turn off my phone? Oh, I doubt it. You may ask why, if I hate the theatre as much as I say I do, do I come at all? My feelings are more than an indifference that would keep me away. I am in direct opposition to the theatre. I must destroy them. And by the way things are here, it shouldn't be too difficult. You see, this company is a respectable one, but they are simply going out of fashion. Oh, they'll hire a new director to keep up with the times, but our writer of her precious little book here doesn't want something new. She needs something old. She's looking for the beginning. And our friend here, with the way he's messing up his lines, oh, it won't take much to break him. Mark my words. Tragedy, vanity, comedy, Because of the thatch roof. 
If that's true, then how do you plan on putting the production on? It's in the script. We have to say his name a number of times. Well, the lady ain't noticed yet if it's within the play. You think she doesn't know the lines to a script about her own husband? Wait, so what am I not supposed to say again? My bed! <laughs> oh no! As I'm sure you've probably guessed, I'm Scottish. This is your vocalist. How do you do? She's English. And this is your lonely coach. Ah, good day. He's French. Wee uh, wee. Oui, oui. uh, oh, sounds can't. like the beginning of a very offensive joke. Let's get to casting. You know it all. Yep. You'll play King Duncan. He's murdered in the first act. I know. I had a feeling you would. And you, Mr. Sense of Humor, you'll play the prince. Malcolm. Okay. I like your sense of humour and your attitude. Well, let's finish giving out parts while you get to work with this one on the scene where he finds out Duncan is dead. <sighs> All right, Brecht, I know this isn't really your scene, but do you reckon we could write another placard to show the passing of time? It's going to take a while, I think. But now, now, I have my own way of showing time. Shakespearean audiences were mostly illiterate. So it's not much different between that one and this one. A passage from Dime should do the trick. <clears throat> now call upon me in the name of time to use my wings. If you do not cry to me or my swift passage that I slide or sixteen years. No, 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 hold on. Yes. I um I was thinking more like dates. Well, you weren't very specific. Always be specific. But look, they're still not having the same scene. So no time passed at all, and your way didn't work. Oh no, it did. It feels like I've been saying the same line for 16 years. It's only been eight hours. Now try again. Macduff, your royal father's been <laughs> murdered. By whom? No! Try again. By who? By whom? simply took the theatre, stole it and rebuilt it on the other side. These theatre folk are surely uncivilised. No, sir. Just passionate. A 
Andy's theft a crime of passion? Sometimes. Are you writing this all down? I will write all down. Hmm. And it would do for me to have the destruction not only of the theater, but of this precious ledger she keeps with theatrical knowledge inside. Like a rug's a million sale, everything must go. To hell! Fight thee? Ye kneel thee, coward, and fight me. I shall not fight thee, Macduff. Then why prove that you are no coward and fight? I am no coward, Macduff. Prove it to me and fight me. I shall fight thee, Macduff. Macduff. Yeah. Ouch. Somebody is having trouble choosing an elite. It's not my fault, none of you Scottish lads. You can't be the lead of the Scottish play if you're not Scottish. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I can do a Scottish accent. I wouldn't try if I were you. Uh, Mr. Director, I put my foot down. If you cannot choose a lead, we will have no choice but to choose a different play. Okay then, we'll choose a different play. But what will we change it to? Oh. Oh, perfect. More decisions to be made. What about Hamlet? It's a tragedy and it has a jewel at the end. Is it Scottish? Hamlet is the Prince of Denmark. Oi! I could be Danish. What are you doing? Look on ancestry.com. Oh, so it is decided. Ominous it is. Oh, I'm hungry. Ha! Well, you eggs, that was awful. Let's move on to the next part. Act three, scene two. Ah, oh, the play within a play. Wait, what now? Well, that's the scene where Hamlet puts on a play. No, Hamlet is a play. Yes, and the character Hamlet also puts on a play within his play. But we're in a play too. So it's a play within a play within a play? Yay. Nay, it's too much. Can we cut it out? No. Oh, then we'll choose another play. Anyone got any ideas? Not you. Anyone in the audience? Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to see Macbeth. Oh, you must think Macbeth, 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 Macbeth. We can't do Macbeth again. Macbeth. We've already done Macbeth. I bet someone else has got a good joke. I bet you do, Mr. Sense of Humor. Go on, tell me. Pardon me for say, but I think now would be a good time for a, a quick exercise in some stress relief. What did you have in mind? Some breathing. <laughs> yeah, this is what I call not to do about nothing. Let's do a midsummer night. Look, he's leaving! His hat on his bus 
prison and his head upon his knee. What is the meaning of this? I can't do it anymore. It's all too much pressure and I never get anything right. Plus I need to sleep. To sleep, the chance to dream. I. there's the pub. There's the pub. Goodbye. You're making me very upset, friend. You must know that. We're not having an intermission because if we do, they might leave and not come back. So, uh, sorry, the uh, the card was incorrect. Yes, I'm so sorry. If you just hold it, that would be great. No, just no. Okay, what minutes. if we so start fast. start Act Three right now? No, wait, no, but just give me a second. Wait, no, hold on. Hold on. Same player and friend did go away. In grief they sang. So someone's grief did grow, forsaking Shakespeare due to this sad song. The company attempts another show. This too, methinks, is sure to turn out wrong. So I'll sit back and say a job well done. Nay, I'll not quit until what's left is none. But that's enough verse. As I was saying, I want to be author here has somehow convinced the Colonial Shakespeare Company to put on a production of something other than Shakespeare. I'm not sure how the Shakespeare fans funding the operation are taking it. Oh, but I think our Shakespearean god is doing quite well. Uh, how goes the night, illustrious one? What piece of work is man? Well, it seems I spoke too soon. This egg is cracked. I wonder how long our Sophoclesian god will last now that it's time for his act. Must be upheld. No one, no one, like legit no one. This is to relax. I wasn't going to let this string of failures get to me like it got to my friend. Besides, this god of Sophocles was already being far more helpful and communicative than the other two had been. Well, you know, we're not really supposed to interfere. Yeah, we're really. Don't worry, I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Oh, here's one is now. Is it time yet? Phantom bartender man must surely be a huge fan of theatre to be helping me out. Usually they talk about the audience being a tough crowd, but it's the main player that's being a tough egg to crack. And we used to be inseparable. Sooner or later, she'll see her expertise in musical comedy will come in more handy than she thinks. <laughs> what was that for? You don't go talking shit about Zeus. Okay, I will. Good. Now where was I? Zeus is being a kidnapper. He was being a kidnapper. You're going to have to be a little bit more specific. A cadmus. Ah, uh, yes, he would become the founder of Thebes. <gasps> Whoa! Spoilers! Oh, please. Everyone knows how the stories end. Even before you tell them? Of course. Who did you think Sophocles just made them all up? Kinda, yeah. It's not about the story, it's about how the player that tells the story. Exactly. Wait, are you saying that Shakespeare didn't write? I'm here with the Council of Shakespeare fans who provide this company with funding. We want to know what our money is paying for, so we're requesting a preview night where you perform what you've been working on for well, us. Well, I'm very happy to inform you we've chosen a play, Oedipus Rex. Because that's not Shakespeare. This is the Colonial Shakespeare Company. The back is expected at least some Shakespeare. Uh, this is a lot of Shakespeare talk for an act that's supposed to belong to me. Well, I think your act ought to be cut short since this is the Colonial Shakespeare Company. Right. Serious theater yet? Wait, oh, but you have to show me. Wait, no. There's there's.
tragic heroes in Oedipus too, just like, um, oh, quick, are there any tragic heroes in Shakespeare? In Leah? That's not promiscuous. Oh, oh, no, Prometheus was a tragic hero, but it doesn't make him Shakespeare. Oh, that reminds me, next semester I'm studying Frankenstein with my students. What if we put Oedipus in Mary Shelley's God? Doesn't make him Shakespeare. out of hands. about to break. Come, let it come, that best of fates for me that brings the final day, best fate of all. Look, quickly, before I have to see another sunrise. Oh, everything I touch goes wrong. Once more, crushing blows come down upon my head. Why so dramatic? Because I am a serious actor. I don't have time for this musical shenanigans. I have to find the secret to serious theatre, and in order to do that, I need to find the very origins of theatre. I just don't know how much further back I can go. She's handling this situation pretty poorly. Once she gives up, there'll be no hope for the rest of the theatre. Let her find what she's searching for. It is not what she is expecting. I was like her once. So eager to find all the secrets. Only I discovered there are no answers to my questions. I had a friend walk out on a production we were doing as well. Only when he walked out, he, he became the most celebrated performer of all. I could not stomach it, the injustice. It was then that I dedicated my life to the destruction of the theater. I realized all players are scum! The theater an orderless, brutish mess. I must destroy them all. By the looks of things here, I may very well be successful in the near future. So... You wish to know how it all began? I think so. In the beginning, we would honor the Onesis with just a chorus, singing and chanting. Singing, chanting, singing, chanting. Then along came Thespis. They say he was the first to play a character on stage instead of just speaking as himself. They say he introduced the first principal actor in addition to the chorus, and voila, we have monologues. Dom. All of a sudden, you have theater competitions between playwrights to see who can write the legend best. He goes on tour with his costumes and props to different theaters. He invented acting in the Western world. Gilbert and Sullivan wrote the first collaboration over the man. How legendary. Surely this Thespis is whom you've been searching for all this time. I think so. Well, did you know that first and foremost Thespis was a singer? <gasps> oh no, this can't be so ugly say it's not true. I cannot do. That all is lost. To cast me off discord. He is It's time for the final act. Act, 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 act. We need your help. We have to present something to the Colonial Shakespeare Company, and we've got nothing. I have no idea where to begin. Don't worry. I have a whole book on theater now. There should be something in here that'll help us. And she found nothing. Hold on, that can't be right. This is completely. 
completely useless. Thought it might be. Hey. Well? Yeah. Oh, what are we going to do? Who will save us now? The gods? Uh, they went to the bar to get a drink. I'm thinking on my toy then. Their time is over. <gasps> this act belongs to us. Yes. You came back! Yeah, and this time I'm staying. I know just how we can fix this problem. Oh, good! I may not have learned a lot from school, but I did learn something from you in that book of yours. You did. You did. I learned that we just have to justify our choices. Like, it's all well and good accidentally sounding Southern if you say your character's from the South. It's all well and good putting on a less than mediocre performance, but if you call your performance how not to act in the theatre, that's my pitch. Is this a solution I see before me? Nice! Let's do it! Splendid! Well, it would be splendid, only it's too late. Your funding has been cut, the backers have pulled out, you're being evicted from the theatre. Oh, it's all very good having a plan if you have somewhere to execute it, which now you do not. Good luck in any future theatre endeavours. I suppose you won't be needing that book anymore. Wait! There might actually be something in it that can help us for real. Let's go. Let them try all they like. The theatre is finished. I'll make sure of it. Sure, it is unfortunate. But the fact is, we can't justify keeping the place with no one to perform it. What were you trying to think? make my heaven to dream upon the crown and yet I know not how to get the crown for many lives stand between me and home why I can smile and murder whilst I smile and cry content to that which grieves my heart and wet my cheeks with artificial tears and frame my face to all occasions why can I do this and not get a crown? Were it farther off, I'll pluck it down! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, turn, hellhound, turn! Ah, oh. Slave, I have set my life upon a cast. There be six Richmonds in the field. Five I have slain today instead of him. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse! Yeah. Oh. Well, 
we just miss Christmas and why all the fun things that you banned? Why? Well, oh yes, no, it's not England, it's you. Oh. But who will take my place? Charles, the second is coming. Oh. oh, what have I missed? Oh, I love theatre <gasps> and Christmas. Yes. And fun! Yay! Let's get this party started! And so theatre was restored! Restoration! Oh, in these wigs we look like girls! I am a girl! Oh. That's perfect! Lady Windermere! Here is your Oh, thank you. Uh, who are you? How dare you! I am Oscar Wilde, one of the three main gods of theatre. <laughs> I'm Oscar Wilde. I'm Oscar! Oscar! Oh, Willie! How are you doing? Very well. Look, yes. Sophocles and I have been talking, and I don't want to say we replaced you, but we replaced you. What? With who? Is it Chekhov? Don't tell me it's... Brecht. I see. What has he got that I haven't? Placards? Ah. Holy flower! Jim Karaki. Your warehouse is on fire! Brecht! Is it time yet? Yes! Goodness, there's nothing I hate more than television. Re really? You've got to be kidding. You guys can't let me have one thing, can you? I've, uh, uh, Cromwell, Wilde, and now this too. I've given my all for this show. I've played more characters than I can count. Porter, vocalist. Uh, and in the program, I'm listed as... Been there. Look, I, I know what I say. What is done cannot be undone. You know what you know. You'll never get your funding back after a production as dismal as this. You'll never play again. That's no villain. That's a tragic hero. Ah. Ye of little faith, villain. Have you seen the title of the play? It's called An Incomprehensive History. Of theatre. I love it. You've really achieved your dramatic vision. Your funding is safe. Please give the theatre back. Oh, of course. I knew that would work. How? I read the script. Oh, and now I invite you to read the book. Only $9.99. How do you justify prices like that? She justifies a lot more than that in her book. So I think it's not all satisfying. Can we have a finale now? Yes. A song we dedicate now to Thespis, the first actor and original thespian.
Especially 